Hey all, this is just a real quick uh, demonstration of using C Sharp and references. Um, there's actually a very large topic here, which I'm not really going to get into a whole lot, mostly because it's a very big, complex topic, and I'm not entirely sure I would do the topic any justice by trying to cover it right now. Um, if you want to look into it, though, you can look into passing by value um, and passing by re reference in C Sharp. Um, different languages handle a little bit differently, but it's uh, it's definitely interesting. So to get into it, um, what we're going to start with is an example of a uh, probably a slightly, in my experience, more common way of passing values um, into methods and then manipulating them a little bit. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with just a regular string and uh, let's call it a passing example. Okay, and we're going to say this was passed okay and then we're going to create a method here and we're gonna do static string uh, well, let's call it uh, passing value and yeah, we're gonna just do this passing value string pass on a string to change okay and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna re turn return um, the string that's passed in and modified um, so to change Okay, and then all, all we're going to see here. Yeah, we better finish this. Uh, learn to type, console. And. Not thinking very well here, okay. Okay, this is what we're going to do. Okay, so we're going to take this passing example. This was passed. We're going to, and then console.writeLang, passing value, passing example. And then in here, it's going to pin that and then return it. Okay, so then we end up with just one string basically. This was passed and returned easy enough okay, and then I'm gonna refactor this out so that we can use it later and we're gonna call it uh, let's just call first example and then I don't actually want to use this right now so I'm gonna comment it out okay and now I'm gonna do uh, what we're I'm gonna do the method that we're gonna use for our by reference um, so we're going to do a static void and let's call this one uh, let's call this one by reference example okay and we're going to pass it by reference string uh, and we'll call it passed yeah now let's call it to modify modify okay okay and then all we're gonna do this time is we're gonna take our to modify and we're gonna do the same thing do our whoops append operation and let's say just like that by reference okay and the only thing we're really gonna do differently here is we still need our string um, and we're gonna, oh, now yeah, let's call it again. Uh, passing ref equals okay, and then really the only difference here is not a whole lot. So we'll do our same uh, 
calling of the method by reference example whoops mm -hmm. passing rev and then uh, what am I doing reference of passing ref okay and then we're gonna write out okay so again very straightforward now what did I do up oh. okay there we go this was passed by reference so again pretty stri simple straightforward uh, not a whole lot to it I'll go ahead and refactor this one as well and we'll call this one passed by ref and okay so now we can actually see the differences here um, kind of all in one go so we've got our two where we just do the reference string this was passed and we're gonna pass it as a reference to here, which again you use the reference string to modify, then we append it. When we return, there we go. We've got both sets just like that. Really simple and straightforward. And I hope it helps.